to separate you in year three of the one guy involved in the business and the coaching, right? <coughs> the, the team. What did your coach personality think when you found out that he was officially here? Well, I was kind of in a unique situation um, because I was told kind of pregame uh, that something probably was going to get done. And so I was sitting there by myself <laughs> on the sideline and had to kind of keep it to myself for a while. So I was very excited, but I had to control my emotions on the sideline. Um, at a certain time yesterday morning, while the rest of the team was warming up for the game. So uh, it was kind of an interesting day for myself. And so, you know, I, I, hey, we're so excited to have him here. He's a great player that's going to help us, and that's all he wants to do is help us win. Um, you love the way he worked when he was here in the offseason program. So, you know, I'm just I'm so happy for the team and the organization and for him to put this aside now and just focus on football. How quickly do you feel like you can get Joey up to speed and get him ready? And, and why is he going to play in this? Well, we'll take it uh, one day at a time. And, you know, he's, he came in great shape, had a great conversation with this morning uh, with him. Uh, when he got in and came in and talked about what we're going to do with him and we're going to go one day at a time with him and when we think he's ready to go out there and play, uh, he'll be out there with us. Um, Is the expectation he's going to play week one against Kansas City? I, I just, we'll, we'll take it one day at a time and we'll see when he's ready to go. We're not going to put a timetable on it and say, you know, it's going to happen this day, this time, this and that. We're going to uh, work him this week um, in practice with everything and some workouts and then we'll go into next week. Uh, you know, starting Monday's practice and, and prep, and we'll go from there. Coach, how would you describe the tone of the conversation with Joey in terms of his willingness to just move forward and jump right in his attitude? Uh, it hasn't changed since the first day we, uh, he was in here after we drafted him. He, he's a football player. Uh, he wants to be here to help us win. And it's, he had the same exact attitude when he sat down. Um, you know, excitement he'd after the draft, you know, being drafted, coming here, and it was the same way. He's so glad this is over, and that's what we've been saying forever we knew. You know, I've said a number of times he's got to be going crazy back at home because he loves to play football. He loves the game. He loves everything about it. Um, you know, earlier I brought, you know, Dean down to talk to him. He's in the squat rack, lifting and doing his thing. So um, we're, just, we're all very happy he's here. Can you elaborate on that? I mean, for you, that's just natural. It's going to be like water under the bridge, time to go forward, so yeah. all his teammates are going to be. I know you don't care about the outside. The outside can so, you know, going crazy over all this, but why is it necessary and just how natural is it for you guys to, no matter who it is, when that player comes and can help you out, that you can just move on so easy? Well, I'm in the unique situation as the head coach. You've got to deal with the business side and the coaching side. And so I see both sides of it. And, um, you know, once any player joins our team, he's always been part of our family and one of us. It's been that way. And we, we always keep on talking about the business side of things. Um, but we said last week, once he signs, we're going to welcome him with open arms. I think the players would tell you the exact same thing once he gets in here. Uh, he, he's one of us, and he's going to help us win. And that's the big thing. You, know, you asked about the conversation this morning. You know, he just wants to come in and help us win. And that's what it's all about. Uh, he loves to play the game of football. I can't say that enough about him. And, you know, I talked to you guys about uh, after we drafted him, is the conversation we had at the Combine. And then when we brought him in here, how excited he was and what we thought he was, how he's going to help our team. We have the exact same opinion right now of what he's going to do. So as a coach, you know, once you get players, you start coaching them, regardless of who they are, where they've come from, how you got them, they're yours. And so we, we were just really excited. I said it last week, can't wait for him to get in here. And now he's here. So. Um, it was just, it was great feeling this morning, especially when I walk around and some people didn't even know he was here yet. So it was good. We did a good job of getting him in town without you guys, without you guys knowing. I don't, I don't know what you guys were doing last night, but we snuck him in. Excuse me. Yeah. Well, no, no. Dean wanted to talk to him uh, when he got in the office. When Dean got in, uh, I brought him down there to talk to him. Great. Everyone's excited. Everyone's excited. We're. You know, we've been waiting for this to come, and uh, we're happy he's here. Well, what was the reaction with the players you ran into? Were they surprised? Were they just... They're, they're very excited. They were kind of, um, you know, they all found out in different ways, and we did a good job of, of getting in, getting them in here this morning. And, um, you know, they're, they're fired up because they know how he's going to help us, and we've been saying that all along, and that's, that's you know, that's, what Joe, that's why Joey wanted to be here, too, to help us win and help us become a better team. And, 
I think all the players understand that's what he's going to do. He's going to help our defense, help our team, and help us win. Well, that's, you know, he's a technician, and I think that's what makes him so good in the way he works. And, you know, the way you saw him work when he came in here and the fundamentals he used uh, during the practice, whether it was a walkthrough, whether it was uh, practice uh, when he was here and things, and you, you see him doing all the individual work on his own, I promise you he was doing all that back at home. And, um, you know, I expect him to come in here and, uh, you know, it's going to, there's, we've thrown a lot at our players uh, since he's been gone. And it's just a matter of, you know, getting used to playing, um, you know, in pads with his teammates and things like that, working the D-line games and stunts and things. And we've got time for that. So that's what the next couple of weeks will be for. And we'll get him up to speed as quickly as we can. And as far as the system and playbook and stuff like that, was he able to continue to do that via iPad or whatever it is? players themselves use iPads. Does that material go to him the last few weeks and months as he's studying? Well, I talk to all the players, all the new players when they come in here, and, you know, the big thing is take as many notes as you can while you're here because um, the players go on vacation and take those things from them. Um, and, you, you you know, we don't let a lot of things get out of the building, but, it's, you know, we tell the players, hey, take a lot of notes. And I think that's something that we talk to him about and all the young players, um, and, you know, he'll be ready to go. Yeah, and I know it kind of the United locker room sense of this, how players are likely to talk about him arriving, but there, there's likely with that many people in, in a locker room, there's going to be some maybe veteran ruffled feathers about a guy getting to camp there, getting with the team this late. Uh, how does he handle that, and do you address that with him at all? He's here to help us win, and that's what we've, we've said all along, and that's what I just told the team. Uh, I told them a little bit about our conversation this morning and said, hey, he's here to help us win. Let's go. He's one of us, and we've said that all along. Regardless of when he got here, uh, he's one of us and he's going to help us win.